with listening and following directions. So, let's play a little game. Let's pretend that I'm a mouth and you are all ears. And... Good morning, children. How are you today? Fine, Miss Bright. That's good. Now, here's what we'll do today. We're going to find out how important it is to listen and follow directions. Being a mouth, I can give you directions to help you learn things. You are all ears. You can hear directions and follow them properly. Now, I am going to give you a direction. If you want to go to the zoo, you must wiggle your ears. Please follow directions on how to cross the street. If you don't, you might get hurt. Are you listening? Yes! First, always stop before crossing the street. Stand still and look to your left, then to your right to see if any cars are coming. And be sure to listen, too. Remember now, stop before you cross the street. Look and listen for cars, and when you are very sure there are no cars coming, you may go. Where's the tablecloth I asked you to bring? Why didn't you bring it? I guess I wasn't paying any attention when you said it, Stan. I'm sorry. I wish I had listened. Now what will we do? We'll have to sit in a pile of ants for our picnic, I suppose. No, we won't. Where are the table and chairs I asked you to bring? Oh, no. I wasn't listening either when you asked. I remembered to bring the tablecloth. Thank you. Thank you. It was a good thing that boy listened, or they might have been sitting in an ant bed to have their picnic. Now, I want you to listen to the sounds you hear in the zoo and tell me what animal you think you hear. Is that the sound of a bear? A monkey? A bird? Or a lion? A lion! A giraffe? A zebra? Or an elephant? An elephant? Don't run, Scott. You will hurt yourself. Watch out. Scotty, you must learn to listen and follow directions. Another thing you should know about directions 
is that there is a right way and a wrong way to give them. Now this is the wrong way. Ray, will you try to finish this up just as quick as you can? Now that's not the way to give directions. Nobody likes to be bullied. This is the right way to give directions. Ray, will you please finish this job just as soon as possible? What if you couldn't hear directions? Some people can't hear sound at all. For people who can't hear sound at all, and for people who can hear, but don't listen, there are directions you can see. to listen and follow directions. It makes things much safer, nicer, and happier. Are you listening out there? 